up guys it's Johnny Valentine with Gain Solar and I got my good hat on today we're about to put a solar panel for a boat trolling motor battery bank charger we're gonna solar boat battery bank charger so it's gonna be a little 24 volt single panel system doing the big stuff today folks so we just got done putting this panel up and uh, we just built it out of basic snap and rack rail uh, metal roof base here are those metal roof bases. This is one of those uh, red steel buildings. So it's super easy to find the, the screw lines are the structural members. And on the back, I've got my panel legs coming in. And then I just used two channel nuts on an L foot. There it is. Totally solid. So this this building is actually sloping north. So I went ahead and put it on like that. And we'll run a little bit of conduit for the solar circuit. And uh, the solar installation part of this will be done. So just finished the wiring to it. Super simple as well. Just st stuck a piece of PV wire in this metal flex. And you can see I'm using the snap and rack clamps. Another clamp right there. And then I got my conduit straps holding it down. And that's real simple. This is just a 24 volt, basically a 30 volt panel going into a 24 volt charge controller. And we're just bringing very little power down just enough to keep a battery trickle charged. So we're gonna be charging a 24 volt battery bank and the specs on this panel, it's a 250 watt panel. It is, there's your specs right there. You can see that or not. Watch out folks, we're doing the big solar today. Solar farm quality. So here's that metal roof base that we just installed. Um, I know it went up quick, but they thread, Oops. they have a thread, threaded base with an EPDM backed gasket. That's what goes down onto the metal. And then there's that base. So on the metal, it would be like this, just a giant self tapper. This is like a quarter inch. You just go down through there. Ooh, a little bit fumbly today, folks. You should run your self tapper down through the hole. And then that goes into the metal, and then the base goes on top. Okay, you can stop it. Here's a piece of uh, snap and rack rail. And you can see how the channel nut just pops directly in there. And then you just tighten it down, but the channel nut fits really nicely in there. That's why they call it snapping rack. And it also has another, another part right there that just pops right in. Goes together very nicely. That's it. There's my DC conduit run with Liquitite metal flex. And this is just a square DQ of disconnect. It's only doing 30 volts and about eight amps. So, not too worried about it. QO, disc QO breakers can handle 48 volts. Not a lot of people know that. So I'm gonna button her up. I'll show you the uh, charge controller here in a second. So here is the wiring of the charge controller and I'm under the boat, so forgive me for my angles. But this is a flex charge and it's a cool little charge controller. It's like four, 430 and it's, fairly sunny outside and we're pushing 7.1 amps which that's pretty dang good for the afternoon on one 250 watt panel pretty happy with that and uh, I used MC4 connectors for him to be able to plug up and just made a kind of a whip and I also made him a Anderson connector plug and that one is for 
an iota charger which he just took off with but i'm not super interested or i'm not super thrilled with the way this guy did his wiring i didn't put in the those connectors when you do these boats you want to think about moisture so i used a lot of heat shrink glue filled heat shrink there's some glue filled heat shrink right there my splices and uh simple boat battery charging system this is a uh, NC25A-24 so it's a 24 volt 25 amp charger and you bring solar power into it and it charges the batteries this is a 24 volt battery bank for a trolling motor now it's not as sunny as it was and we're pushing 2.6 amps and just so you can get a view of what's going on here there's the solar coming down going into a disconnect and then there's the PV wire whips coming out and they're tying into the underneath of the boat battery bank and it's all it's 30 volts so low voltage not something to run carelessly but it doesn't have to be run like 240 or high voltage DC